Hey everyone, let's make a 600 watt turbine out of an old washing machine motor. First we're going to need to get a PVC pipe and cut out three blades from it. We use three because it's what most wind turbines use to combat vibrations. You can't have even numbers like four or six. Using this old washing machine motor, it puts out three phase AC. This is the bottom of a washing machine and I'm just going to cut it all off until we have just a spindle left. And then I rectify the output and get about 12 volt DC. So it was a big job cutting this all up. With my grinder pretty much melting the plastic off. Here we have just the spindle left. Now I've got to attach the blades in the middle. I've just been to the shop and I bought some plywood and something to cut it with. Cheapest, crappiest brand, but it'll work. I'm going to use my rice cooker lid to draw out a circle and mount the blades on it. So I've got this little plastic collar that came with the washing machine motor. I'm going to put a hole, I put a hole in here. That's going to slide over it, and then this collar will lock it in place, and I'll screw it through here. There we go, done. Three screws in each blade. I'm going to use this old office chair. It took me a while to figure out what I'm going to use to let it allow it to spin, and then I thought, oh. Perfect office chair. Check it out, it's even got little mounting holes in it already. Adjustable height. I'm using this threaded rod to hold down the motor. It's just going to sit on there. And I'll bend these around and snug it up, that'll hold it on good. Make sure you use some lock nuts or something to hold the nuts on there tightly, like a spring washer. It's always fun cutting this. Just trimming up the base, I'm not actually cutting the spindle there. I love watching the sparks though. I've attached it to the pole with some pipe clamps. Now it's time to make a tail. I'm going to bend this around to make sort of a clamp. clamp. I was thinking all the different ways to do it, but this seemed by far the simplest way to do it. And make sure you put some rubber or something in there. Here I use some old insulation off some wires just to make it a bit more grippy so the wind doesn't spin it around. little extender to get it out past the motor. Can use the back of a chair, pretty ghetto here, but it'll work. Now, time to test it out. I'm just dismantling it. I've got a, another pipe clamp holding the whole blades on, taking it off so I can fit it all in the car. Hey, look at that, it all fits in the press. Up on the hill, let's give it a go. Hey, good, how you doing? Just waiting for some wind. 